Thanks, yeah. Paula. The government ha has prioritised reform of the insurance sector to reduce the cost of litigation and ultimately premiums. Personal Injuries Assessment Board PIAB was set up in 2003 and has been set up to deal with motor liability, employers' liability and public liability. It has, has been successful in reducing both the costs associated with claims at a time taken to resolve claims at no cost to the exchequer. The PIAB process annually is saving tens of millions of euros, which could otherwise be paid in legal cost. It has resulted in significant decline of personal injury claims by a PIAB. The impact over two years is an expected overall decrease of over 30% on 2019 levels. The Central Bank of Ireland is resp responsible for publishing report analysing data. The report showed that the pursuit of litigation contributes significantly to the overall statement cost and that the cost of claims settled by litigation had in increased significantly since 2015. For those settled with um, a court award, legal cost totaled 49% of the cost. The hope is that it will be uh, the action plan for insurance reform so that we can all enjoy reduced premiums in the future, less court cases and less litigation and less fraud. Minister, I'd like to bring to your attention that the, um, the Personal Injury Assessment Board was set up for mortal liability, employer's liability and public liability. Now, I'm in construction and I'm still in construction. Um, and recently we had our insurance renewed. So I was talking to different businesses across the board and this affects all businesses across the board. And I'd like your actual help with this one. That your insurance liability um, is based on your turnover. And with the escalating cost of materials and the escalating cost in running costs of any business is shoving up the insurance premiums. But at the end of the year, it shows that you've less, are less profit, but you've a higher turnover. But you're paying more insurance for a higher turnover. This needs to be addressed. So we have businesses at the moment, whether you're the local coffee shop, whether you're a local shop, whether you're a hardware store, whether, no matter what business you're in, your turnover is higher, but your profit is either the same or less, but you're paying higher premiums in insurance costs. That's not right. That's inflation costs. So this is what we need our government to deal with, is that businesses that are actually struggling at the moment, and all sectors with inflation, are actually paying higher insurance costs, and it's not been dealt with. The same with, with um, motor costs and public liability and employers' liability, across, across the board. And one of the major um, things that was, which this bill will actually help is, that when we had people that had more than one claim, and I'm talking about people that might have had two claims a year for the last 10 years within a family unit that were not being picked up on. So the data needs to reflect back here to make sure that these people that I would call serial people that claim, serial claimants, within a family unit, which was actually happening, and what actually happened after that then was you could go in in a county and you could actually look at a county to see how many claims were being, were being uh, pursued. And then when you went for your motor insurance, or your, your children or your partner went for motor insurance, they were getting their insurance premium based on the amount of claims that were being made in each county across the board. So if you were in Cork, you could have a lower rate. So then if you were in Limerick, you might have had a higher rate. And if you were in Tipperary, you could have a lower. It was all based on the amount of claims within an area. And a lot of these claimants were people that were actually were making it a business of claiming. So I do hope this um, PIAB will address this to make sure that these people that are actually making a business of claiming uh, and distorting the figures at the end of the day, it's the, the normal person that has to go out and pay for their insurance is paying for this. But I go back to my point there again. Um, the government, I need them to look at that if your turnover due to inflation costs, and that's all businesses across the sector, is higher, your, your um, profits are lower, but you're paying higher insurance costs for to run a business. So I would like your help with that, Minister, and any help you can give, I will work with you on it to make sure that businesses get a fair 
uh, premium costs and are not being targeted because of inflation costs. Thank you, Minister.